Hello, it's fairy loot time. We've sacrificed my usual setup for the bed because it's too cold and I don't want to leave my bed, quite frankly. That's it. Um, I'm going to try and do this in one take because I really don't like editing, as you saw from my last video, which was a mess because I didn't want to edit it. I'm going to try and do the same with this one. This month's box is Vengeance is Yours. And all I know is I don't know any of the books involved because it's me, why would I? There's a travel cup because I got very excited about that because I can use it for work and the book that is in the box I think I know what it is because I read an arc recently and I was gonna buy it and my friend Zeal was like maybe just hold off on that for a minute because you might get the box uh you might get the book in a box so thanks for the heads up Zeal <laughs> if I haven't got that book then it's all your fault um so I've opened it and the first thing you see is the travel cup and this is from this is from the book that I just read and I loved it. It was called Jade Fire Gold. It's a fantastic book. Hugely recommend it. I just, it's a single book and I can't believe it's not gonna have a sequel. I want a sequel, I wanna know how my children are. But you know, it's fine. And this cup is really cute, it's so dainty. I'm gonna use this for work. Oh, and you can take the little, she says, you can take the plastic bit off and it says underneath it, the heart is not a weakness and it's gorgeous i like the design of like all the pretty flowers and the the, the the swirls i'm really good at my descriptive words here anyway yes i very much like that and i can't wait to use that for work and i've just seen a sneak peek of the book because it's not a bag and my heart it looks so pretty <laughs> okay this is a poppy war enamel pin now i see loads of people talking about the poppy war but I've just never really been inclined to read it because it feels too militant for me and I feel like I wouldn't get out of it what the author put into it. Also, my friend Zeal did tell me that it's quite graphic in some descriptions and I don't know if I could stomach it. But the pin is beautiful. The pin says, I don't believe in gods, I believe in power. That is a stunning pin. So maybe I can just keep the pin and not read it i mean i can still appreciate a pretty pin okay we have got something fluffy <laughs> we've got lots of these bloody wooden things that do my absolutely nothing it should say what it is on here it's a microfiber cloth Ooh. oh wait this is from the book vicious which is actually on my tbr i do really want to read that it says the world when the world resists you break its rules oh it's a victoria schwab book i didn't know that obviously she wrote Addy larue which I loved, but I've not read any of her other works. But I do want to read A Dark Shade of Magic and I do really want to read Vicious. That is on my TBR. Every time I go to Waterstones, I look at it and I'm like, I want it. I want it. But I'm like, not buying any more books the rest of this year because Christmas is coming and January sales will hit and I can buy some books and hopefully read some books in that time to make space to buy more books. That is the plan. Okay, we've got something. Oh, we've got some washi tape. I don't think I've ever got washi tape in a fairy loot box before i don't know what book this is from but it's got like a dragon print on it i can't open the box to show you good then actually a microfiber cloth as well that's very useful and so is the um travel cup so i like the useful aspects oh my god this tape is gorgeous look at it it's black with like gold and red detailing and there's a dragon i might have just gone past it there it is i don't know how clearly you can see that oh it's writing let them let them think me a i'm gonna say it's a monster the words cut off because obviously tape goes around it says let them think me a something beginning with m i can assume it's like a monster or something like that i need to know what a spoiler card is oh so i thought this was the book which is why i got really excited this is a notebook are you joking oh no it's not a notebook it's a reading tracking book like a reading journal like my one from botany and books this is stunning oh my god it's so pretty it's like leather bound and red and embossed and like is that foiling i don't know what's the word for that but that that is gorgeous like i've never wanted to read from blood and ash because to me it sounds too very much heavy but this alone is gorgeous and makes me want to read the book just from this this is so good and so useful. Fairy Loot are really bashing out the useful things in these boxes. So yeah, you've got like page counts, your star rating, the title of the book, the author of the book, when it came out, when you started and finished it, and what you want to say here. 
I am using my Botany and Books book journal at the moment really like rapidly because I'm reading a lot um because I'm on annual leave that's going to come in so handy because I want to carry on this whole like writing as I go what I think of a book thing because it's like helping me retain what I think of the book that's actually such a decent item to get in a box like I'm very impressed okay so obviously this is the book but I was also looking for the spoiler card and tarot cards because I leave the book till last you know I do so these are tarot cards don't know who they are but they're beautiful they are lovely illustrations as always gorgeous characters fantastic art i have a small collection of these now and i love it I didn't realize how long i've been subscribed to fairly for it's gone very quick and that is the spoiler card with the um vengeance's ours art theme poster thing and i will read the back of it in a minute to see if i got the books right <laughs> i mean i'm pretty sure i did because most of it's pretty obvious and here we have the book oh i'm excited oh 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 that's the print oh my god the print oh there's another one. Oh, is that the interview that's the interview which i'll read after this video this is the print there's something else in here i don't know what it is oh the bookmark lovely bookmark same artwork this is the print it is stunning and it's got letter on the back of it oh my god i love this so much i think it helps that i've already read this book and i loved it which means I'm going to love anything to do with it that I get. Oh my god, the edges on it. <laughs> Look at the edges. The sword is quite a significant element of the book. Oh my god. And the edges are sprayed pink slash red, whatever. I'm colour blind. The top and the bottom. And that is the cover. So it is Jade Fire Gold by June C. Altan. <sighs> This book was amazing. I think it's based off Chinese mythology and folklore. And it's it's everything I love. It's It's got magic. It's got adventure. It's got enough romance to keep me interested, but not so much that I want to throw up. It's got plot twists. It's got... Oh, it's just such a fantastic book. And as it's only a standalone, when you read this, that's it. You read it. And honestly, it was just... I won an arc from Hot Escape and I was flying through it and it was fantastic oh I just I thought it was the most gorgeous book it was beautifully written I love the characters I love the world I love the world building I love the writing style I just there, there there was nothing about this book I didn't like it was an easy five stars for me so to have this gorgeous edition with the pink and the green and the gorgeous stenciled edges and sprayed edges oh this is fantastic I'll show a little look inside so there's the signed page again with the signed pages like i love the fact that it comes signed but i also love the pages itself like there's a little dragon under her signature which i think is fantastic and let's have a look under the dust jacket <sighs> this book oh my god so we've got a hard cover um cover we've got a hard cover cover we've got something on the cover which is like a gold foiling illustration of two characters. Mm -hmm. Who could they be? And then there's obviously the um, spine. And then on the dust jacket, we've got some more character artwork of our main characters. And tell me that's not the most gorgeous artwork you've ever seen. How stunning is, it, is that illustration? Oh, just... Every time I get a fairy loot box, I'm like, okay, this is going to be my last box. I'm going to unsubscribe next month because I can really do with the money. And I just, I don't need any more boxes. I don't need any more boxes. And then every time I get a box, I'm like, no, but how can I unsubscribe from this? It's just beautiful. Everything is fantastic. There's there's no way I'm unsubscribing. I'm going to wait until at least after Christmas because I do want the December box. She says that. It'll be this time next year and I'll still be getting them. But, oh, this book... Please read Jade Fire Gold. Shall I read out the blurb so you know what it's about? It says, In an empire on the brink of war, Arn is no one with no past and no family. Alton is a lost heir, his future stolen away as a child. When they meet, Alton sees in Anne a path to reclaiming the throne. Arn sees a way to finally unlock her past and understand her lethal magical abilities. But they have to pay a fair, deadly... They may... That wasn't the right sentence we're not going to edit that out because i'm not editing this so just enjoy that um to understand her lethal magical abilities 
but they may have to pay a far deadlier price than either could have imagined. Girl of Paper and Fire meets A Song of Race and Ruin in G June C. L. Tan's stunning debut, where ferocious action, shadowy intrigue, rich in magic, and a captivating slow burn romance collide. You read it, you won't regret it. You won't regret it. You just, you just won't. You just have to read it, okay? You just have to. <laughs> Spoiler card, right? So the notebook was. It was a book review notebook, and it was from from Blood, from the Blood and Ash series. Which uh, is it really that romance heavy? Because I've heard it is, and I really don't want to read it if it's romance heavy. So someone who's read it, tell me if from Blood and Ash is really romance heavy. Otherwise, that's a no go from me. But the notebook is beautiful. Um, the washi tape is from The Rage of Dragons. Oh, I don't know that book. I'm gonna have to look that one up because that's not on my TBR because I don't know it. The um, microfiber cloth is from Vicious by Victoria Schwab, which we knew about. It's on my TBR. The travel mug is inspired by Jade Fire Gold, which obviously I've read and I loved it. And it's an amazing mug. And the enamel pin is from The Poppy War. Obviously, I haven't read it. Don't know if I will read it. I'm kind of on the fence. Probably not going to read it. I'm not going to lie to you. But the pin is stunning, so I'll keep that. And then the tarot cards are the Seven and Eight of Pentacles and they are from A Song of Wraiths and Ruin. I think that's on my TBR. It's either on my TBR or it's on my to be bought to put onto my TBR list. So either way, it's on my radar. Just haven't read it yet. Um, this was a great box. Everything in this was really useful. Like we've got a notebook, we've got a mug, we've got a cloth which I'm gonna use to wipe my mirror down. You got a gorgeous print. This this book box is thriving fairy loot you win you win i am so, oh i'm going on a trip tomorrow to london i was like where am i going i could use this for coffee on the train and i just pull mask down take a sip put mask back up ow don't poke yourself in the eye while you're doing it and you can take these into coffee shops so they don't give you naff takeaway cups and you save the planet oh my god i'm taking this to london i'm taking this with me this came in the nick of time Thank you, Fairy Lou. And it's a reasonable size. So I won't be having like four massive coffees in a day. And I won't be having heart palpitations from um, having too much caffeine. Everything's winning. Everything's winning. Everything is winning. Now, I might read this again because I haven't read it since I read the ARC. And obviously things change from the ARC to the published edition. Is there a map in it yet? Have we got a map yet? I want a map. I didn't really give any constructive feedback because that wasn't my purpose. There's no map. I mean, the book's bloody brilliant as it is. <laughs> Can't really complain about a lack of map, can I? Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop chatting. I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this chaos, as always. Sending you all love. And I'll see you in December for the next box. Because, actually, no. I am going to film my Once Upon a Broken Heart collection video soon. Hopefully before Christmas. That's not a promise. But either way, I will see you soon for another video. Thank you all for watching. Lots of love. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And bye.